G'day folks, welcome back to episode 63, I want to say this is. Anyway, kicking things off today, we've got a game against Astana, but before we do that, got some results off camera for you. So, like we saw in the last episode, it was Sevilla and Atletico Madrid. So, 5-1 victory and then one all draw. Not too shabby. Things have been pretty decent so far. Uh, we followed that up with a 0-0 result against Espanyol. Um... 4-0 uh, victory over this uh, team in the Europa Conference League, Pristina. Uh, 2-0 loss to Mallorca. Not great. 3-1 uh, victory over Astana. 3-0 um, victory over Almera. 3-0 victory over Athletic Pompolona. And then another 3-0 victory over Tenerife. So... Things have been pretty well. Three clean sheets on the bounce. It's been going well today. Obviously taking on Astana, and then we're going to skip the Levante game. Or I'm just going to show highlights if there's any like really good goals. I'll show you those. Then we're going to play Valencia. And then the next game we've got Pristana. And then we've got Real Madrid. So it's a big game. Big games coming up. We're going. We're going to play. We're going to play well, hopefully, here today. We've got a couple of changes to make. So the player's been playing. Quite a few games recently and uh, I just want to give a lot of them a little bit of a rest. Mm, no. <laughs> no. I need to, I want to play him but he's obviously not uh, really. This is going to be the team that I go with so it's going to be Mario. Moses, Mario, Lenormand, Aaron Buru, Usida, Zubimendi, Marino, Nkunu, Stefanovic, Perez, and Arujo up top. Let's get into it. We're playing um, another new format, not a new formation, another new um, system. Uh, this time it's a, t it's a standard Tiki Taka system. The custom wing play wasn't doing it for us. I changed it up. We're playing Tiki Taka as... Uh, and it seemed to be working. I've changed it up. Marino now just plays in that centre midfield role. And Kunu, it, most of it is, is, all, is all still the same. And Kunu is still in the advanced playmaker. Still have the same um, things on the wingers and the strikers. Now a complete forward. As you can see there, Henrique Arujo has just scored less than 12 minutes in. Which is uh, fantastic for us. We love to see it. What a goal as well. What a goal. Alrighty, we're 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 top in this group stage by some great uh, I mean Shamrock Rovers coming in a, a pretty close second. Um surprisingly not doing like a huge amount thirty eight minutes in. It's it's only one nil, but still. It, it's a win regardless, and that's a good chance. Look at the stadium. It's mostly empty. We are away, so we have had to go to to the away team, and uh, obviously there are um, not a lot of fans apparently have come with us. There's a few of them. You can see them there in their, in their red. As we've got a free kick now. What can we do with this? 4-0 to Shamrock Rovers. They're having a great time. We're not really doing too much, but I'm happy because we're winning. So we'll keep that up. Oh, great defense there. Zuby Mendy into Christopher. Up to the top to Stevanovic. Zuby Mendy to Mario Marino. Back to Zuby Mendy. Back to Mario. What's he going to do? He's going to whip it in. Perez. Or Perez. Okay. Not a huge amount going on here. Not a huge amount, but. Here we go, Mario now. He's found some space too. Steven Novich, and what a goal from Philip. Philip Stevanovic. The man. Great to have him in the team. Great to have him score another goal for us. And what a goal it was. Very, very nice. Right after half time as well. See, the next game out will be against Pristina. And then Shamrock Rovers in the last game. Which they could they could equalise. If they win, 
they could uh I don't know what the goal difference is because they they've scored quite a few goals against these teams they may have scored more against than we have to be quite honest Stefanovic with a second he's got his brace let's go what a fantastic run in this Europa Conference League that we're having we should be up there to be winning it I think we're, we're expected to reach the final and uh I'll be damned if I ain't going to prioritise this to try and get it. Not 100% sure if you do win... If we do win the competition, I know Europa League, you, you win... You get Champions League football if you win it. So if you win the Conference League, do you get Europa League? You must do, right? I'll have to have a look. Will be very interesting to see who is the, uh, the first winner of the uh, the conference league in real life as well not just on the game and on the game it's mm. obviously been going for quite a few seasons so there'll be many a uh, many of winners they do have pretty rando winners on the game though it's quite funny to see you have teams like everton that have won it whereas you know currently everton are embroiled in a relegation battle of sorts and so they don't have a good team on, on here, though, and obviously we're quite a wee bit in the future. Chichu now passes it back to Marino, back to Chichu. He's going to whip in across, across there, Charles Perez. Might look at making some substitutions like Charles Perez. He can come off. He is a bit knackered. Um, Mikel Marino, I guess, as well, can come off with Beltran. What a game though, 4 nil. you love to see it. And yeah, that's, oh, we could be in for another one. Usada into Christopher. Back to Usada, oh, it was a Bial. oh, close. Look at this, the stadium's empty. How many people showed up here? Probably only a few hundred. No one's keen to see Astana. Where are they even? I don't even know where Ast Astana are. They're Kosovo. All right. Because we've got a team from Ukraine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Kosovo. I mean, this is their best team. Here we go. Usada. To Inkuno to Zubi Mendy. Aran Baru. Fran Beltran, Rougeau, Ayosa Bayal, 13 goals for him so far this season. Absolute madman. He is our top scorer by, I want to say, quite some distance. It's 6-0 for Shamrock Rovers. We're close to getting to what they are. We're sort of playing tit for tat at the moment. They score a goal, we score a goal. One of us will be one behind, but that is all right. But yeah, Ayosa Bayal, 34 years old, top scorer, 34 and he's our top scorer this season. He's got 165 goals at just a club level. Not even, not a, not a European or cup. But still, that's insane. Great victory for us there. Shamrock Rovers do have the better goal difference than us. So if they were to somehow beat us, um, depending on how things go against Pristina, then they won it 8 0. My God. God. All right, here we go. We've got a goal in the, the Levante game for you. Fran Beltran has just scored, and I've uh, missed it responding to a text. But <laughs> it was a by out. Looks like he's he's whipped it into Marino. Oh, it's just a it's just a lovely effort outside the box. One nil to us. Levante got a red card as well. So good to see we're taking advantage. We've got a penalty here, folks. Watching it live. Will Ayozabayal add to? His goals, I'm sure he will. Yes, he will indeed get in, Mikel. 14th goal of the season already. We're only in November. What a pen. Oh, he scored again. Oh, he could be offside, though. Usada whipped in the ball, but uh, I think it actually might be offside. 
No, it's been awarded. Get in, have a look at this. Perez just passes it to Usada, who just gallops ahead because there's, you know, no no one's in, around. Ayoza Bayal gets it, bangs it in. 3 0. There we have it, folks. A 3 0 victory over Levante. A banger of a game and another clean sheet for Moses. Uh, well, guys, I let Josh Sargent go, thinking that it was going to be uh, a deal in January, or that he wouldn't leave until January. Um, he signed for Alain. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, sorry. But yeah, he's, he's actually gone now. So it's not too bad. We got 4.2 mil for him. So yeah. He, he did play pretty decently this season as well, though. So a bit of a let down. Not a let down, but I, a bit... But annoying that he's not going to stay until at least January. But, oh well, he's off. And we've got a bit of extra money in the kitty, back up to 14. I have uh, I have pre-purchased a couple of players. And I'll show those in January, obviously. But yeah, a few more games and we'll get to two, the Valencia game. Right, we are back. Didn't realise there was an international break between the games. But still, that's fine. At least now. We have um, a fully fit squad, pretty much. We're versing Valencia. Valencia down in 14th. 13 points, minus 14 goal difference. Some of the worst defence in the league. I think the third, it is, yes, the third worst defence in the league. You've got Tenerife and Levante only having a worse defence. So hopefully we can get the win here. We're in a good run of form. Things are looking well. We're in eighth place. Victory here as long as uh, Espanyol don't win. Um, and Vigo, they're not playing. so that uh, They just lost, so that's fine. Yeah, as long as Espanyol don't win. Um, but we would jump. We could jump into sixth. And uh, Sevilla, uh, they lost as well to Real Madrid, I do believe. I saw so let's get into the game. And I think I'm going to leave the team basically as it is. No need to change it. Moses, Mario, Lamont, Lenormand, Papetti, Chichu, Beltran, Marino, Deschamps, Orizabayal, Perez, and Arujo with Villanueva, Stevanovic, and Kunu, Zubi Mendy, Aaron Bruno, Baru, Baru, Usada, and Louise all on the bench. Let's get into it, team. Players are stoked. Having a good run of form. I think it's five from five. Fans expect to win. <laughs> Valencia are on the ropes. Three losses in the last five games. Still have Jose Gaia though. Um, so they've still got a club legend. We're five from five. So let's keep it going. We're playing very well recently. Keeping some good clean sheets as well. Love to see it. But if we want to get where we need to be, we want that fourth place. We want a top four spot. We're going to need to be more consistent and we're going to need to be beating uh, a Valencia team who, quite frankly, are out of form. Um, we're going to need to be binning, binning them off. We're going to need to beat them and quite comfortably beat them here as Rodrigo goes for a chance. Jose Gaia now to Gutierrez. Oh, great save from Moses. He's been in a spectacular form himself recently, so I'm very pleased with the way he's playing, especially for such a young goalkeeper, 21 years old, remember. First, last time out, he was playing for Norwich in the championship, and unfortunately, that was a poor pass. Roger Martinez gets the first goal, and we don't keep the clean sheet. Mm, I don't re who, What happened here? Was this, my, this was, no, this was Papetti's fault. No, it was Beltran's fault, I should say. Sorry, I was trying to give it to... Uh, Deschamps and no. Moses was not expecting that, so we can't exactly blame him. Very disappointed from uh, Beltran there. As, uh, we don't want Valencia to uh, start to get a run together at our expense. You know, just as we're starting to put on some good form, move up the league table, get to where we want to be. We don't need it to be coming crashing back down for us. Chichu now to Frau it to Beltran, gives it to Papetti. Moses to Mario, or is Top scorer for us, remember? Mario now on the wing. Oh, he's made it. He's managed to come out of that very well. 
back to Mario, passes it back to Beltran. Lenormand. Let's go. Come on, boys. We've got this. Come on, Enrique Arujo. Oh, there we go. It's his third goal, Enrique Arujo. Last season was the top scorer for Sociedad that I did I did see. Um, obviously not having quite the year. I think he scored. I think I saw he scored twenty four goals last season. Um, not having quite the uh, similar same. Uh, impact this season, I will say, um, but still, three goals is is not too shabby. Uh, obviously, we've got Orozabayal as our top scorer on fifteen. Come on, boys, let's get the ball. Oh, it's two nil. I go back to our balanced approaches. I always find that is. Uh, a really good indicator because I think we're getting uh, are we losing the possession battle no not really but we are fouling them a hell of a lot which we uh, we need to stay on our we well, haven't really got any yellow cards so I don't think I need to use that I'm gonna stop the short kicks though it's been really disappointed to watch your defensive positioning has been unacceptable tell the boys we've got some faith or as by our captain as well he needs to be stepping up. That this left side is is, is doing woeful. Uh, I'm afraid it is pretty bad. And uh, yeah, to come out of a you know a five game winning streak and then to lose to uh, Valencia, who you know third worst goal difference, you know third leakiest defense in the league, and um, yeah, or is it by Al is going to come off? I'm going to switch them. Stefan Novic will come on. Um, I don't really have anyone to change for Mario. I'll keep him on for now. We'll see how he goes. There's a Gill now. Is it Brian Gill? Oh, could have been three for Valencia. We are not doing anything. I'm going to say don't dribble less. Let's go mixed crosses. Don't work it into the box. Be more expressive. Try and get something out of this. Come on. Marino needs to come off. He's, he's naked. Um, nobody's playing a great time. It's going to have to be off for Mario. Let's berate the team once again. Tell them to get on a... It's just up the tempo and the passing directness. Pass it into space. Do all that. Maybe get on very attacking. No. No, really? Really? Wow. What a way to end the video, guys. A 2-1 defeat. That was an absolute shambles. We could not capitalize on what should have been a routine victory. Atletico Madrid just lost 3-0 to Batiste, who underneath, you know. we th This could have been a, a great way. Now we're still three points off, and we've got Real Madrid next after our Europa League game. I am absolutely fuming. It's not over yet, but still, we're going away to Real Madrid in the next episode. And we've got Real Madrid and Batiste to play next episode. I'll play the Pristina game off camera. Disappointing results once again. <sighs> we had such a nice run of form. Six games on the bounce. Six games on the bounce. Five of them had clean sheets as well. But no, we had to throw it away to the team with one of the worst defences in the league. It's just disappointing. Regardless of that disappointing ending, we'll leave it here. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a ton for watching, and bye-bye.